Hi folks and welcome to another video from Peacock Archery. I'm Philip Watson and today we're taking a look at centre serving a string. Okay so we're all set up here and ready to go and the first thing I've got to do is measure where the serving needs to start from. Well this is a 66 inch string and what I'm going to do is measure up from the bottom loop, I'm going to measure 35 inches and I'm going to place a, a little mark on the string and then I'm going to measure 7 inches back from there and make another mark and that's going to be our starting point. So we're going to do a centre serving which is 7 inches long. And what I've got here is a serving tool. This one happens to be from Biter, um, make very good equipment. It's not the cheapest one on the market, but it is very good, it's very robust. Um, there are other ones, you can get them from literally sort of five or six pounds all the way up to 35, 40 pounds. The, um, um, the sky isn't quite the limit, but certainly happy to recommend the, the Biter ones. Uh, first things first then, we've got to start this serving. This is probably the bit that folks have the most difficulty with. Um, and if you follow a couple of simple rules, it actually it's pretty straightforward. So what I've done is I've looped the serving material over the top of the string and I've got the serving tool towards me. So I'm going to be serving away from me. Now I've set up the twist in the string so as I serve, I'm actually going to be twisting the string up rather than untwisting it. And that's kind of important because if I'm serving against the twists, what will tend to happen is that the serving will come loose um, over time because the, the material underneath is trying to unwind itself. So I've got tight hold of the tail end here. And what I'm going to do is hold onto that and bring the serving tool over the top and across. So I'm always working that way and I've caught that first loop and I'm going to do the same thing again holding tight onto the end here. I'm going to come over the top and catch that. Now I'm almost at the point there where I've taken up all of the slack so I'm going to do a couple more still holding onto this tail end. So now friction is holding <clears throat> this tail end in place. But I've only got a very short amount of serving underneath the, the bit that I've, I've done there. And if I was to cut it short now, there's a danger if this was to come loose that this tail end would come loose because it's only caught by about sort of seven or eight turns. So I'm going to serve a little bit more just to make sure that that tail end is thoroughly caught. Oops, and that's your first mistake. What's happened there is that the serving tool has decided to go back the way it came. Sometimes happens. There we go. I'll try that again. Keep my hand out of the way so you can see what's going on. There we go. <clears throat> so that's plenty of turns caught underneath there. So my next option is I can pull this the other side and then I can deal with that later in terms of snipping it loose. Or if I'm feeling confident, what I can do is simply get that to the top and cut it off, which is what I'm going to do now. So sharp Stanley knife, I'm laying it flat against the serving, pull it up and simply cut it off and lay it down flat out of the way. And then I can simply continue serving. I've set the tension, you do that by turning these screws, these nuts, in to increase the tension or out to redu reduce it. I've set it so that it's quite snug. It's one of those things that you learn how to do with a bit of experience. I'm just uh, going to continue serving along as we go. You will see some people, what they'll do is they'll get hold of the string 
and spin it to spin the serving tool. Don't really recommend that. It's not easy to keep um, a constant, consistent tension all the way along as you do that. This way is, takes longer, but it's, it's more consistent. So before we go any further, one thing that I do need to check is whether we've got the correct knock fit. So this string for a customer is being served for small groove Eastern g knocks. I've got one here, so I'm just going to clip that onto the string, and it should clip with a, a good solid click, and it does, but it's still rotates freely on the string. Um, I will do another video on, um, on the whole topic of knock fit. It's, a f it's an interesting one, um, but we won't do that for today. Um, but I'll put a link in the description box below to um, a spreadsheet which shows uh, um, some uh, uh, combinations of string material and serving and knocks so that you can get reasonable consistent knock fit. Now, we're getting close to the point, there's our mark, so we're getting close to the point where we need to finish. And um, a bit like, in fact exactly like we did with the repairing serving um, video, I'll, again I'll put a link in the description box, we want to finish this off in exactly the same way. But instead of having just a little tiny loop to, to deal with, we've actually got the serving tool, so we've got plenty of space to do this. So I'm going to pull out a good loop of, of serving material, send it over the top, give myself a little bit more room for manoeuvre. Now the serving tool I've been serving away from me, I'm going to continue to do that. So the serving tool is going to come through the centre of this loop and effectively I'm going to serve back the way I came and I'm probably going to do between sort of 12 and 15 turns. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. That's great. <clears throat> now, next thing to do, again, pull the serving tool out. We're going to push it all the way over to here. Now, if you've got someone to help you, that's great. If you don't, and your other option to hold that over there is, I've got a pair of forceps, they're just plain old ones that you can get from fishing tackle shops. I'm just going to pinch that there so it just holds it tight. And I turn my attention back here. So with that in place, I've got a set of loops over here, and as I wind on here, they're going to wind off from this side, and I just need to keep the tension on as I do it. I'm trying to keep those loops here tight up against where my existing serving is. Make sure that they sit up nice and snug. As you can see, as I'm winding on here, they're winding off from there. Nearly at the point. Right, so what I've got now is just one le loop left. So I can undo my little forceps. And now I can use the serving tool 
to help me pull this through. So I've got this long loop here that I need to get rid of. So I'm going to pull gently but firmly on the serving tool, making sure that I don't let the string, the serving material bunch up. And keep pulling until it pulls it tight. <clears throat> then, if you're like me and you've been doing this for donkeys, you can just wrap it around your fingers and pull. That's quite hard on the fingers, so the other thing you can do is use your forceps. Pencil would do, just something to wrap this round really. I'm going to pull that tight and snug it up tight. Right, so the next thing we need to do is get rid of that, this tail end. So again, sharp knife, I'm just going to cut that, cut that short. And with my lighter, just very carefully burn that in. And there's our centre serving done.